Sam is living the American dream. He has the white picket fence, 2.5 kids, a loving wife, and a household debt of $140,000. What? His family earns $21,700, but they spend $38,200. Something isn't quite adding up here. Their total deficit is $16,500. But hey, it's okay. He has friends and family who bail him out time and time again. But he is starting to worry. How long can he rely on this system before it collapses? Would you manage your life this way? Probably not, but the government does. And as a result, we, taxpaying citizens, pay the price. Here is the ugly truth. Since the Federal Reserve was created in 1913, the US dollar has lost 95% of its purchasing power. 100 years ago, a dollar would get you this much gasoline. Today, you get this much. Now, that's not going to get you very far. How in the world did this happen? Government spending is out of control. As a country, we make $2 trillion, but we spend $14 trillion. And what's the government's plan to cover the debt? Print more money! As they print, the value of the dollar decreases and inflation increases. The problem is, we do not have the power to stop the Federal Reserve from printing worthless paper currency known as the U.S. dollar. Up until 1971, the dollar was backed by gold, building trust in other countries and gaining status as a reserve currency in the world. However, all that changed when President Nixon closed the gold window. With no gold to back the dollar, trust in the dollar began to waver. Today, we are neck deep in debt and furiously printing money to get ourselves out of the hole, all the while decreasing the value of the dollar and causing other countries to abandon hope in accepting the U.S. dollar as payment for debt. In fact, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa have already decided to stop using the U.S. dollar as their reserve currency. Without foreign support, the dollar will eventually become worthless. But there is still hope. We may not have the power to prevent the Federal Reserve from printing, but we do have choice about how we protect our individual assets. Now is the time for gold. Why? For centuries, gold has been recognized as one of the best ways to preserve one's wealth and purchasing power because gold bullion is real, honest money that has held its value for nearly 5,000 years. As such, it protects your hard-earned savings against the devaluation of currency. Gold is rare, durable, and does not wear out in the manner of lesser metals or paper when passed from hand to hand. A small amount easily carried can purchase a significant amount of goods and services. It's universally accepted as currency and can be easily bought and sold around the world. Best of all, no one can print gold. If there ever was a time to invest in gold, it's now. And Gold Bullion Exchange can help you protect your nest egg by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Gold Bullion Exchange caters to every type of investor, from beginners to experts. And they carry all the popular gold coins, gold bars, silver coins, silver bars, platinum, and palladium at competitive prices. These items can be purchased from their website and delivered to your home in three to four days. Don't let the Federal Reserve ruin your American dream. Protect your nest egg and invest in gold. Visit www.goldbullionexchange.com or call 1-800-856-3827 to find out how to protect your nest egg and invest in gold today.